yesterday in Yarmouth, um, a cop was killed serving a warrant. So, to me, that says, say what you will about cops. And of course, there are cases where, you know, bad cops and, and you know, one bad apple spoils the bunch, or a few bad apples spoils the bunch, you know what I mean? But, oh, son of a um, but they really do. That's proof they put their lives on the line. He was serving a fucking warrant. He's dead. When I was um, at my mom's, I told you the TV kept shutting off. It was freaking me out. Because I, I, I've never experienced that in my life. Right? The TV kept shutting off. I would turn it on and it would shut off. I thought my mom had done it. I didn't do anything. I'm over here. Look, the coop. Then I moved it. I didn't move it out of the room, but I moved it far from the TV. So it was way on the kitchen table. But anyway, I was watching this edition and the breaking news came on. And it, at that point, he's been shot. And they say it's bad. Pray for him, blah, blah. And then you find out he's killed in Yarmouth, Massachusetts. He was 32 husband father killed serving a warrant so that's proof to me they really do lay their lives on the line if they have to worry about being killed like that serving a fucking warrant or there have been cases when cops have been killed just doing a routine traffic stop you know he's dead he's gone Oh, another thing I heard about an inside edition the other day. What are you doing? This is a case of stupid criminals get caught, or karma, as Joe would put it. Apparently, this guy shot robbers. He claims it was in self-defense, and and a, a lawyer uh, wound up. He had to wind up paying them. Uh, or one of the robbers or something was robbing his warehouse six million dollars. He's pissed. Rightfully so, especially if it's a case where, I mean, I definitely adhere to the thing where, you know, you take your chances when you're robbing somebody, but different states are different. I first learned about that, I think, on Liar Liar, Jim Carrey, when he was talking about how he gets away with, how he gets criminals who break into houses or break into people's places of business, whatever, and the criminal winds up suing the the owner for shooting him or, or if he gets, it's just bullshit to me. But in any case, if you have a good lawyer, so. Then, there's another case where I don't understand, but I didn't look it up online, I'll probably give more details. The lawyer gets gunned down in front of his house. by, they said someone saw this white van go by, okay, this was, I guess, last year, the year, it doesn't matter, right, and this person owns that van, yet the person was, is, you know, a person of interest, a suspect or whatnot, but not charged with anything. But, but if the guy was shot on his front lawn by someone in that white, that, that doesn't make sense, why is he not charged, why is he not, but whatever, guess what the guy did? A year or so later, recently dead, he accidentally, and you know I don't condone criminals, I don't condone murder, I don't condone whatever, but this is a classic case of dumb criminal. He accidentally recorded himself joking or, or bragging about how he had killed a lawyer. How he killed that motherfucking bottom feeder, or, or whatever he said, you know, because he feels like, in, and you hear him before when he's being charged with that, that, um, he's not charged criminally, he had to pay six million dollars out, though. Obviously, if he had six million dollars to pay, he's rich. But he gunned down the lawyer, and then he recorded himself accidentally bragging about how he killed the lawyer and got away with it. So now he's being charged with the guy's murder. Um, and of course, the the widow of the the lawyer who's gone down is thrilled, you know, because she probably knew he did it all along. It's too much coincidence that the white van that he owns, maybe no, you know what I mean? That's too much coincidence, and yet he was not enough evidence, so they let him go. And then he brags and accidentally records himself, and now he's gonna be 
he's been charged and he's going to be convicted and he's on recording saying it. Dumb criminal, huh? Kills someone, gets away with it, and then records himself, accidentally records himself bragging about getting away with killing a lawyer. <laughs> Unreal, huh? Oh, I told the plumber about the hot water heater being 27 years old, 1991. I said that, and he's like, oh my God, he's like, I thought me, he's like, I've never seen anything like, I've never even heard of one being lasting that long, Laura. I know, Dan, and it could have been so bad, as you said, because it's so fucking old, and this place is so old, and, and even though the water, would, if I was gone all day long, like 12 hours or something, or for it to happen when I was over my mom's for the week, whole weekend, I mean, the water keeps filling up, and it's designed to go down in the floor, through the floor, so it doesn't completely flood everything, but if it gets clogged, that's it, your whole place is flooded, so I consider myself very fortunate. But in any case, had I not realized what was going on, had it been nighttime and I was sleeping, had I, it been um, not home, it would have ruined my, my, like I said, my writings, my personal writings that I've managed to keep to salvage. I've managed to keep them intact for 40 some odd years, okay? Some of them. I mean, this spans 40 some odd years and I'm traveling back and forth to different states and I still have all my writings. And for them to go with a freak thing with the hot water. But I had them right next to it in my closet because I'm an idiot. But I'm not an idiot. There's no room in that other room. And these were my personal papers that I would access, you know, sometimes. I did a video before I shared some of my old poetry with you guys. And it just was in my closet. I figured it's my closet. I'm not thinking. You know, think. Out of sight, out of mind. What's going on behind the scenes? And little do I know what's going on is this wa water heater is so corroded. And if I had had the plumber look at it sooner, he would have said, you need to replace this, say, last year or year before. You'd, you'd, we, we didn't do it. We didn't know. My mom didn't know. I didn't know. I showed you in that video how corroded. He said he'd never seen anything like it. And he's like, you've got it. It keeps 27 years old. I mean, yep. They said a more flow. You look at the, the first numbers and the serial numbers, the year, and it says 91. I had him write it down. I wanted to know. I'm like, I need to find out. Just like I want to know how old the dryer was. I want to know. 27 years. No, or give or take, because it doesn't give me the exact, but it's, it's 27 years. It's 91. I mean, maybe it's 26 and, and change, but it's close enough. Unreal. Hi, Petra. And to guy who has the itchy, itchy flats request, we still go back to the same thing. I can't do it right now anyway because Omar, is, I have to put the camera on the floor. We still go back to the same thing. Camera on the floor, you are not going to be able to see my whole body, which means you can't see me sniffing my shoes. You can see me walking around, but how are you going to sniff? How see me sniffing my shoes? A camera on the floor is not going to record my whole self. I guess unless I stand far, far away, and even then, I highly doubt it. But I can't do it right now anyway. I will try. I'll do practice. Practice videos. But yeah, I, I'm trying. I remember what you want. You want me to walk back and forth in my gold flats, then pretend they're itchy, and then take them off and smell them. And put them back on the floor and stomp on them. And then we will first my left foot and the right foot at the camp. And then put the flats back on. But again, you want the camera angle on the floor. If I was five feet tall, that would work. You have to understand, I'm 5'10". I don't know if you're forgetting that I'm 5'10". And the logistics of a camera on the floor filming my feet, you're not going to get my whole body when I take off the, this and, and sniff it. Sniff it. You're not, with the camera on the floor, it's not going to work. I've told you that repeatedly. So it's not that I forgot your request. It's that the logistics of it, to me, are not feasible. They're, they're not, you can't do it. But if I try to put the camera on the floor right now anyway and the lights on the floor and whatnot, he's going to get in the way. So I can only do this when he's like sleeping or something. If I put him in the cage, he'll scream, and that irritates me and you guys. I don't want to scream and burn the video, so. So 
so I haven't forgotten your request. I just have explained to you repeatedly the logistics of it are not possible in my viewpoint with me being 5'10". If I was 5 feet, it would be a different story. I'm 5'10", okay? I'm way, way up here. If I'm way, way up here, it's impossible for the camera to be on the floor and for you to see my whole body. You're either going to see half my body or if the camera is right now on the kitchen counter and then you see my whole body. So, I don't know. I don't know. I understand your request. I just <coughs> don't shout. I don't think it's logistically possible. <coughs> you don't say move the camera. You want the camera to stay in the same angle. It's not possible. I appreciate your enthusiasm that you want me to do the impossible, but you know. <sighs> oh, woo, woo, woo. My cookie. My cookie. My cookie arms. My cookie. My cookie. My cookie. Yeah, say yes, Mama. Can I have a cookie, please? Please, Mama, I'm a good dog. You want a cookie? Want a cookie? I need to put his front line on him. I haven't done so only because I don't want to do it and then have it rain. You know what I mean? I'm waiting till we're having sunny days in a row. I told you, Marathon Monday is supposed to be a really bad. I feel bad for the runners. It's supposed to be cold and windy and rainy and the whole nine yards. Tomorrow is apparently supposed to be... Today I haven't been outside because I, I stayed up all night with that Facebook shit. And, I know what I mean? I'm going to have to sleep in the daytime, obviously. And the day is gone. I didn't put it down yet. You want it? Oh my, cookie! <gasps> cookie! Here, cookie! Cookie homes! Yeah, this, at least he answered to his best of his ability. Nobody's told me. I want to know, I want to know how it could happen in the first place. You think of your own personal home computer, okay, as your sanctuary. You don't think of it that a website like Facebook is going to put into your home computer or do it with your info your personal email and password autofilled into somebody else's PC. I, I am just astounded that this could have happened, but I want to know how it can happen. That freaks me out. Naive. I'm naive. Most people are when it comes to this technological shit. Most people are naive because I would have, I know people can hack you, but I would have never imagined in a website like, say, Facebook or YouTube or Flickr or Twitter or Instagram or whatever, I mean, that they could actually accidentally put someone else's personal information into your personal computer. It's not even a handheld. It's not a whatever. It's a not even a wireless thing. It's not like I'm out in public or something. This is my home desktop computer. How is it possible for that to even happen? That's so freaky. I guess I am naive, but so are a million other people. This is freaking me out. I said the Cambridge Analytics thing didn't freak me out. It's simple. Advertisers, Facebook allowed it to happen. They had you take quizzes. I don't ever take any quizzes on your Facebook page. And that gave them access to your Facebook page, which gave them access to all your friends, not rocket science. This is different. Facebook handed, and it, it, it could be doing it with my personal info, or your personal info, if you have Facebook, and you don't even, you know, I just happen to, oh, maybe a lot of people wouldn't care if they saw someone's email up there, oh, it's just a glitch, it's whatever. I decided to test it, because it said, do you want to use the password for this person? I'm like, who the fuck's this person? And, and at first I said no, you know, I did my own thing, and then I tried it, and it worked, and it auto-filled his password, and I got into his personal Facebook page. That should be not be possible. But what does that tell you? Privacy is a, is a joke. If I could access someone's personal Facebook page because Facebook glitched, something in Facebook's 
glitz is something malfunction and via my IP address obviously filled in this guy's is total stranger to me his personal email and password so that I could access his Facebook that's fucked up that is so fucked up I first tried googling it to see if it had happened to other people that's fucked up I couldn't find anything but I just cannot imagine that I'm an isolated incident in this case, the one who suffers is the one whose info I got. But I'm a good person, and I didn't go and do anything to his Facebook or go into his personal messages or anything like that. I just glanced at the first page. Actually, I went to the second page because when I went back, my message that I wrote written to him on his own front page wasn't showing there, but he had to click his name, like, and then it showed on the other page. It's all the same thing. saw that he's pretty popular. It's just fucked up. If they're mistaking IP addresses or whatever, I um, think he lives in Massachusetts too. But the thing is, it's just fucked up. It's so fucked up, it creeps, literally creeps me out. Because I, up until today, I wouldn't have imagined that could happen. I know you can be hacked, I know this or whatever, but these web press them. And for them to hand our personal information to a total stranger on a silver platter and allow us to access their personal shit is just not acceptable. What if it happened? What if Hotmail did that? What if Gmail did that? And it didn't get into somebody's personal fucking email account. I mean, what's the difference? There are people who use Facebook like that. There are personal messages. I have personal messages. You know, I don't need anybody to access my Facebook account and see my correspondence with the fetish photographer, you know. It's fucked up. It's not dinner time. It's not. I just gave you a cookie. Why can't you be happy? So it's a little thin cookie too. It doesn't even give the calories on it. Why can't you be happy? Why are you always hungry? Huh? Tell me, please. Give me insight into the pug brain. Your pug brain. Give me insight. Huh? Why are you always hungry? I feed you a lot. I give you all kinds of extra shit. I told you I have to find some solution to the Sam the sardine situation because you only give them a tiny bit of sardines each day, and by the time I um I haven't used it up and it's already going bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> Salmon can be used in lieu of sardines, I think. She just gets a little bit here. Here you go. Honey buns. Mm. Well, a bunch of pumpkin and blueberries. Expensive organic blueberries, of which days I remember, which is most days, he gets three a day. Earthbound Farms Organic. Here, blueberries. Yeah. Yeah, this was an eye opener. Without a doubt. This shit was a total eye opener for me, people. And not a good eye opener. I just would never imagine this could happen in a million years. You know what I mean? Privacy's dead. We don't have it anymore.
interesting, funny thing is, if you go on YouTube, you're going to see people saying that Zuckerberg is making a fool of the Congress people, that they don't understand about Facebook clearly, and somebody was saying, if we don't fix this situation, privacy as we know it is going to be dead in the water. It already is. Facebook handed to me a total stranger's personal Facebook login credential, so I was able to, because I decided to test it for the hell of it, I didn't think it would really work, log into a total stranger's Facebook account. I mean, that's fucked. That's fucked. And we, it could be happening on a massive scale, it's just nobody would think to bother to test it. You know? They might think what I initially thought was, oh, that's fucked up, why is someone else's email showing there? and saying, do you want to use the password for this? But I figured if I put in his email and said, do you want to use the password, it wasn't going to auto-fill the password. It was going to make me know the password, which I don't know it. Obviously, it was stranger's password. No, it auto-filled it. Maybe this is happening on a widespread scale. It's just nobody's ever tested it to see if it would actually do it, like I decided to do for the hell of it. And I'm in fucking shock. You just don't know. You don't understand how shocked I am, people. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. Like, really. Above and beyond. What am I going to do with your pumpkin? I put the pineapple in the freezer because I was opening up too much pineapple because I wanted the juice. What'd Mama do with your, um, pumpkin? Oh. I took it. Oh, there it is. Pick it up. Okay. Would you like some pumpkin, Omar? I am so freaked out about this. this I'm not going to rest until I understand. First of all, I want to know if it's happened to other people. You know... One of my viewers, who, who's genuine, said he had somebody hacking into him who kept getting into his personal... This is different. This is different. Unless that could have been a case where they got it accidentally from Facebook. If a, any website, any website, any of these types of websites are going to just... If there's that much of a, of a potential glitch where they can hand over our personal information to a total stranger, our personal login information, then that's bad. I, I cannot sum it up any other way. It is fucking not good, people. It is bad, bad, bad. Here's some pumpkin. See, the pumpkin will go bad, too. I think I need to put that in the container in the freezer for him. Mama used to do. She used to freeze half the can of pumpkin because she didn't eat it like I do, but I haven't been eating pumpkin lately. No, I, mean. I could have I said I haven't eaten blueberries lately, but I did actually. I, I ate some blueberries the other night. I haven't eaten them in a while. I make different kinds of concoctions with fruit. I'll put pineapple and spinach and salmon and, and, and nuts in something or in blue, or blueberries, you know, such as someone normally would do, and olive oil and salt, and it's, it's delicious to me. Absolutely delicious. smell, but I know it's going to pass that much longer, probably. Should I let him have a field day scrape in the pan? It'll make him happy. He won't really be getting much more pumpkin, but it'll make him happy. Yeah. Over here. There you go. Yeah, there's the pan. Let's go to town. Go to town, Omanoo! 
Oh, I'm so freaked out. Of course, Joe's just like, it's just going to get worse. Welcome to the deep something state or something or whatever. It's just going to get worse. Yeah, no shit. It's all fucked. Dear me, dead man writes our ex. <laughs> Everyone's high right now and no one's ever coming down. I am so freaking bored. Nothing to do today. I think I'll sit around and medicate. Yeah. You and me both. Fucked. Fucked up. Just so fucked up that, you know... <sighs> it's like the end of the day and the friggin' See? That's what this guy wants, but he wants it different angle. I understand what he wants. He wants me to pretend my feet are itchy. Punishing them for being smelly or something, and I step on them and I crush them, and then I wiggle at the cam my toes at the camera, and then I put them back on. <laughs> it's an easy, cute request if it was logistically possible. I don't believe it's logistically possible. I'm going to try it just to prove to him because I repeatedly told him that it's not logistically possible for me to do that. I'm too tall. Too tall, too tall, too tall, too tall. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.